sugar, spice, and everything nice. These are the ingredients to create the perfect rip-off Biscoff cookies, but Chef David accidentally added another ingredient. Chemical X. It's vanilla and brandy. I like Biscoff cookies and my significant otter is out of town for like a week and I'm lonely and I get bored. So let's make some cookies and have a great time. Woo. First, we're adding two teaspoons of cinnamon, a tiny bit of ground cardamom, tiny pinch of ground cloves, pinch of salt, and some freshly grated nutmeg into a bowl that happens to be filled with two cups of flour and a teaspoon or so of baking soda. Now let's mix it all together. Don't feel too afraid to experiment with the spices. This is all in the name of self-care after all. Next, we're gonna cream together two cups of butter with one and a quarter cup of brown sugar until it's creamy, smooth, and buttery like that patch of my leg that I waxed for a dare that never grew the hair back. All right, now we blend these two titans of industry together, mixing in that vanilla and brandy I was telling you about earlier in my Powerpuff Girls homage. Slow and crumbly. It's gonna be a little bit dry, but that's okay. This is after all akin to a British biscuit, or more accurately, a Belgian speculoos cookie. Or speculus, or speculoos. Now, that's what I call multicultural, volume flair. Gather your ingredients all together into a ball or ball-like mass and wrap it and chill in the fridge for one hour. While that's doing its thing, do whatever you do to keep yourself occupied when you're bored and alone. Like, I don't know, dance like no one's watching? Check these moves out. Get it. Get it. Time flies when you black out from dancing, so let's crank that oven to 350 and get out a parchment-lined baking pan. Drop some flour down, yes, like it's hot. Roll these out, and shucks, let's cut some fun shapes. How about hearts? Why not? Valentine's Day happened at some point previously, and in the future, almost guaranteed. It's not a real holiday, by the way. Hallmark made it up to sell paper products with bad poetry. Wake up! Pop these babies in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes and do whatever you need to pass the time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm okay. Look at these fellas, aren't they special and delicious? And while I'm recording this audio, I'm definitely not eating a bunch of them. Mmm, tastes like definitely not loneliness. Want to see us bake more goods? Leave a comment with what you'd like to see and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming episode. Probably not though. I don't know why we'd do that or how. Did you know Tom Kenny, like SpongeBob himself, was the announcer voice for the original Powerpuff Girls theme song? Learn something new every day.